Hey cat, didn't you go to film school and are you seriously shooting this video on an iPhone right now? The answer is yes to both of those. Good evening. Um, so I'm just making this video. Uh, it's taken me a little while to get to the point where I could make it. Um, so about a week and a half ago or so, maybe a little bit more, I was contacted by a woman um, through my blog. Uh, by a woman named Jen Powley and she she's spent most of her life battling uh, a very aggressive progressive form of multiple sclerosis and she had an opportunity to write her memoir and she um, is having her book published uh, this upcoming May and she asked if I would like to read an advanced copy and if I might review it from the perspective of somebody who has a form of MS. And um, I, I accepted. I'm so sorry you can't see my nose. I'm <sighs> Pale girl problems. Um, <laughs> I accepted for a couple reasons. One, because um, a few people have told me... Um, you know, oh, you should write a book, cat. And I always, my answer is always, you know, well, what, what would I write about? You know, um, already I kind of question the um, legitimacy of my blog in that, you know, there are so many other people with experiences far more dire than mine. So who am I to really um, talk about something as delicate as MS when um, things aren't too bad right now? So I struggle with that. So I guess I was kind of looking for some perspective. Um, and another reason that I accepted was because progressive MS is a topic that I typically try to avoid. Um, it scares me. And, um, you know, it, it makes me, even though I have relapsing remitting MS, you know, some of those cases can turn into a more progressive form and, and that scares me you know my future is uncertain and so I try to block that out so um, just because I don't know a lot about something doesn't mean that I should be afraid of it and that's kind of a philosophy I try to live by day to day so um, I dove right in so um, the book it's called Just Jen Thriving Through Multiple Sclerosis, and um, I'm going to put the website where you can order it. Um, again, it's due to be published in May, but I'll put the website where you can order it as well as all the publishing or the publisher's information down um, in the description box below. Um, and uh, it's written, it's, it's a very easy read. It's about 160 pages or so, give or take, and I read it, um, it took me less it took me less than a flight from Wisconsin to San Francisco that amount of time to read it. And um, it's written in little like vignette style, you know, blurbs. And um, while they aren't always chronological, they, they do, you know, seamlessly, I felt, weave uh, a very intimate glimpse into nearly a lifetime of uh, both defiance and acceptance of readjustment and reacquaintance with the body and um, what somebody is or isn't capable of anymore. And um, I can't, I feel like I'm going to, I'm going to also review this book in my blog, which I will also link below, as well as all of my social media, which you can follow me at. Um, and I feel like I'll probably go into a little bit more detail there. It's it took me a while to make this video because it's hard for me to talk about this book and say the words out loud uh, without getting emotional. Um, I've tried it once and I failed once, so I had to wait a little bit to make this video. Um, there's, it, and I know that's not the intention that Jen, the author, had for this is to make people sad or emotional. Um, I felt like the book was very uplifting despite the very dark content. Uh, we take so much for granted. So much for granted. Um, things like even, you know, leaving a footprint in the snow and how, how we don't even see that as, as some sort of a miracle. Um, 
it is. And some people will never experience that for the rest of their lives. Little things that we take so much for granted. And uh, Jen does a, an excellent job illustrating those things and just kind of how her life has changed throughout the years ever since um, I believe she was diagnosed first, I think at 15, which is very, very young. Um, I'm gonna start getting emotional. So I will say this. Uh, oh, another thing that I did wanna mention that I liked what this book did is she really um, shoved the spotlight on disability and sexuality. We live in a society where disabled people, their sexuality, we view it as almost non-existent or it's fetishized. And I really loved the way that she spoke so openly and honestly throughout the entire book about sexuality and how her disability um, either did or didn't get in the way of that. And um, just story after story, chapter after chapter, just proving how how she wouldn't she wouldn't let disease take her you know even though it took most of her ability to I mean she's a quadriplegic I probably should have said that earlier on she's a quadriplegic she can't really hold her head up she has a hard time speaking um, swallowing she's on a feeding tube um, catheter uh, you know just living a life that I can't even imagine keeping sane in and um her story is of hope um it ends on a hopeful note it ends with encouragement something to look forward to and just no matter how bad things seem to be there's always something else to look forward to and i really got a lot from this book i think other people whether you have a chronic disease or not whether you love somebody or know somebody that has a chronic disease or not, I think it's a good read for everyone because we all, no matter our situations or circumstances, really take our abilities for granted. And um, it really, this book really made me kind of look at life's little inconveniences and how I react to them. Um, so I, again, I'm gonna put the website where you can purchase this book in May and the publisher's information down below. I highly recommend everybody pick up this book and read it. It's, I don't have enough good things to say about it. Um, I laughed, I cried, um, and I think you guys will too. And just see how anyone with a disability, including Jen, is just like everybody else, just Jen. So um, that's all for now. Um, I'm gonna link the review in my blog down below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and um, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all at It's Only a Bruise. Bye!